what's up guys if I keep making these mistakes I'm gonna have to quit Alright guys, welcome back to another episode on AP2 Square where art and passion come together and we create great experiences. Uh, today is going to be a very interesting video for you guys. I'll be preparing something very special, a process of three stages where we're going to be first establishing a very you know, solid composition for the full, full figure. And then we're gonna move on to the second stage, which is going to deal a little bit more about how to blend colors. And we'll be creating some, you know, interesting concepts behind this process. The third and last stage, we're gonna be putting all those two concepts together and we're gonna try to see what the result is afterwards. Um, I'm gonna be doing one of my top favorite upcoming characters uh, for a video game, uh, Deja, Deja. So, at the beginning of the video, I've mentioned that if I keep doing this mistake, I'm gonna quit. And before I get into that, I want to, you know, take a uh, good respect of your time. If you're here just for the art process, please go jump onto the timeline where it says basic. Uh, full body, I mean full figure uh, process, and you're gonna be on the right way. I was not trying to say I am going to quit for such and such mistake. However, I was trying also to project or portray some of the feelings that I actually experience when I'm challenging myself and I hit a brick wall of a big you're, you're artistically blocked. There's something that we need to address um, as fellow artists. Being an artist was a, it was a gateway for me to let my imagination get loose and build world and create things that otherwise I wouldn't be able to grasp, uh, manifest. Let's start off by naming the biggest, if not one of the biggest enemies of my artistic journey. And that is going to be art history. We have to have a good strategy on our mind in order to, you know, progress in this journey. We need to tackle some of the things that sometimes are blocking our minds. Art history is painful sometimes. One artistic movement that actually was a major movement for this art process in Prussianism is the concept of projecting a, a vivid moment or environment with the least amount of details, but just enough that when you look at the overall picture, you still get what it's in front of you. In Prussianism, for the longest time, guys, I thought I was a fan of of uh, realistic portraits and so on and so forth. But as I looked, I had to, I didn't realize that most of these things that I am attracted to on my art process are more so influenced by the Impressionism movement. Greater, one of the great starting points for your research, it's going to be a guy's name, Claude Monet. He's one of those artists that when you zoom in his art piece, it's all scrambled and, and a bunch of strokes and it's, it's just a big giant nothing and like a, a mess, but it's, there's no detail there. But only when you look at it from afar is where you actually grasp the whole scenery. So let me share this with you real quick. Impressionism in painting was an attempt to accurately and objectively record visual reality in terms of transient effect of light and colors. So that's what we're gonna be basing our artistic process for the most part on this episode. We're not gonna be devoting a whole bunch of time creating these intricate details. We're solely gonna be trying to create the illusion that there are some details there while in fact what we're doing is playing with colors 
with light and the contrast of those things uh, combined. If you really want to know about tricks and grow real quick on your artistic skills, don't rely only on this art process, okay? Take some time, devote some time, some 10 to 15 minutes to do some historical research. Let's get a little bit disciplined on that area. I assure you, it will be worthwhile, on my opinion. Again, on my opinion, okay? So, take that advice, do as you will. Let's move on to the next stage. All right, guys, get ready. We're about to start. Sit back, relax, grab some drink, enjoy this part of the, of the process. Also, feel free to join me, grab a pen and paper. Everything is welcome, all right? I want you to, I want you to shrink the size of the figure that you've already started and then continue on from that point, establishing the other uh, regions of your figure. In this case, obviously we're, we're creating a human and we're trying to give this human a simple pose. Obviously we're not looking at any reference, so it's probably not going to look very you know flattering or something we just want to come in and do a simple exercise um, to keep it basic for once it helped me to simplify because sometimes when we try to tackle something at once we push ourselves to be perfectionist i want to keep my mind in that stage of not overwhelming myself with the expectations of looking for perfectionism. Remember, the key word for this episode is impressionism. It's just to give the impression that whatever we're portraying, portraying on the canvas has the appeal of a figure. That's, that's pretty much it. All right, so we've moved on from the first stage of our process. Now we're on the second stage where we're supposed to apply color. So um, I'm gonna start working on this and I'll meet you right after that. So we're approaching this with the mindset of giving the impression that the garments and the materials that, that this character possess are there, but we're not devoting full time making all the details that it needs to be there as we usually do on our previous uh, you know our projects over here we're just tackling the challenge of representing what material is and so on and so forth so let's have a look here we're gonna have a closer look so yeah as you can see i came in real quick established some shadow pattern i would say always start off positioning your shadow uh, orientation. That way you can position yourself in a much more comfortable scenario when it comes to like choosing the balance between what is darker and lighter and where should you, you know, make the distinctions of depth. Moving on from the second stage of our process, we're gonna head over to the last part of this project. On this last stage, we're just going to be trying to highlight the areas that are going to be mostly relevant for the audience and for the overall of the picture that we are trying to project. Remember guys, we're just trying to project the right impression. So let's get into it. And right after I finished, I'll get right back with you. So right away, looking at this character, I'm thinking I want to work a little bit more that fireball, uh, maybe make it look a little bit more vivid and bright. I'm going to do that same process with the rest of the figure, okay? So to put it in simple perspective, Impressionism, it's that sort of art style that instead of devoting too much time, uh, creating immense or dense amount of details on every corner of your canvas you're just going to try to make that the overall picture gets a reasonable reading from a uh, expectator's perspective 
if you found any of what i said somewhat inspiring please comment down below i've always enjoyed to see you guys um giving me some feedbacks about it so looking forward for that and we've achieved our final stage for this episode guys let's have one moment to step back and look at what we've been able to accomplish for example let's look at the fire i started to mess around a little bit with the fire on the second stage and i am so much thankful that i started to do that then because with that i was able to get myself ready for you know that last push where i would challenge myself to do you know maybe something a little bit more challenging so that's what we did uh we came to the third stage and as you can see i started off with the fired kind of like trying to feel the blendings of the colors and where i wanted for them to give the impression that it that it was in fact fire and as i learned this this image projection of of giving the impression of of what fire would look like i started to learn new ways of projecting that information so in a sense guys all i'm trying to say is if you take your time in doing the process step by step and not rush yourself into you know let's jump right into the details i'm telling you it will pay off establish a, a layer on top on each of the different elements that were in the art piece name it uh the skin the the um, the clothing and other stuff that are pertaining to the to the character i had it on separate layer then i put a layer on top and i started you know mix around with colors and also color temperature if you want to know more about color temperature and so on uh, go back to some of my previous videos. I also devote a little bit of time in more detail. What's that all about? I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you enjoyed and you find useful what we've been able to discuss throughout this video, please leave a like and that that it needs to be addressed. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Now, if you're looking to follow more of this content, don't hesitate on clicking on that subscribe button, hit that bell notification for the next episode, and follow me on the other social media. I'm sure we are going to have a lot of fun on the next adventure. See you guys, and stay curious, my friends.